It's been about five years since the water crisis in Flint, Michigan began. Flint's water became dangerous when authorities changed the water source from Lake Huron to the polluted Flint River to save money. Since that time, the water source has changed back to Lake Huron, but the pipes in the water system remain contaminated with lead and corrosive chemicals. Residents of Flint are still unable to use their tap water for drinking and bathing. A grassroots organization, Flint Rising, was formed to get the facts and put pressure on officials to fix the problems. Gina Luster, a leader of the organization, came to Lowell at the invitation of the Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust to attend a film screening about the Flint water crisis, hosted by the LPCT and the Lowell Film Collaborative. Until something is wrong with your water, you really don't think about how big of a part it plays in your life. I invited Gina because we happened to share a fellowship last summer in Vermont and uh, I learned of her story and thought that it would be appropriate for our eco film series that we run in partnership with the Lowell Film Collaborative. I saw the changes in myself before I saw it in my daughter. We didn't feel good, we were ill, and I'm like, what is going on here? What have we been exposed to? They switched the water on April 25th of 2014 and within weeks you start hearing stories in the grocery store at the bus stop of you know people complaining about the smell the taste even the color of their water and um, I would say within 90 days the whole entire city had been poisoned. We thought that if we protested and made them switch back to the Detroit water that we would be fine but we didn't know the pipes were as damaged as they were. And we didn't know at that time that the infrastructure had just disintegrated. And then we thought we'd take it up as an opportunity to allow the city to learn from her and her to learn from the city of Lowell as well. So we've set up a, a series of meetings between the, the city manager, the mayor, touring the water treatment plant here. For Flint, we, we have to make a decision. Are we going to update or just start all over again? It couldn't happen in the city of Lowell, no. We have a corrosion control program. Uh, it's very robust and it's been in effect for quite a long time now. Um, we also have a lead uh, service replacement system, so anytime they come across lead services, they fold out. Because of those few months that they didn't add the corrosion control. So one, one overlook mistake caused a catastrophe that five generations of people are now going to have to suffer from. They go and get, grab it's either 12 or 13 samples in one day. Okay. Yeah. So it's two days a week, they're grabbing 25 samples. Okay. And it takes them approximately three to four hours to do one yes. day. Simple. To monitor it, we have to test it hourly. Uh, in addition, every four hours we do a thorough test of the plant. Uh, not only that, we collect weekly bacteria samples throughout the city. We do a test of the raw water before we do any disinfection. Ooh. Once it goes through disinfection, this is what mm. it should look like. No bacteria, not a chance. All gone. The reason that Lowell is uh, able to maintain clean water is because of their due diligence. Um, they're constantly testing, they're constantly upgrading, and I have learned something that I'm going to take back to Flint, that this is not an overnight fix. It's astonishing to me that five years after the incident, that people like Gina uh, still cannot take showers in their homes, they're still drinking bottled water, uh, their pipes have not been replaced, people are dying of Legionnaire's disease, and the average person outside of Flint is not aware of that. And uh, so I, I, I'm really just trying to help her build some awareness and, and help bring her resources to bring back to Flint. The Eco Film Series runs on the last Tuesday of the month at the National Park Visitor Center through July. For more information on Flint Rising, visit their website.